Welcome to Introduction to Computer Application 5091 Lecture 8 in the series. Today the aim of our lab is to learn everything to do with tables in MS Word. So let's get started with our outline. The first item in the agenda is how to create a table. But before we go move on, let's see the basic elements of a table. A table compromises of columns and rows. Rows goes from left to right and are horizontal while columns goes from up to down and are vertical so but when you're counting the columns you go from left to right so this is column this is column one here this is column two this is column three and when you are naming the rows this is called row one this is row two and this is row three so in our sample document uh, let's create a heading first to insert a table go to the insert tab under the table section click the table button it will open a drop box give you an option to select the table size the maximums maximum size although of a table can be larger than 10 by 8 but you, you can increase the size later on so select the size that you want and the table will be inserted where you left the cursor also note uh, when you insert a table two new tabs show up under the table tool section design and layout we will see what options are available in these later on table of size larger than 10 by 8 you can click the insert table option here and give it the size of your liking it can be as large as let's see 50 20 and it has all other options also for example auto fit to contents auto fit to window and I click OK so here's my table let's move on how to delete a table it's relatively easy go to the layout tab select the delete button and select the delete table option let's see that again to delete a table click on the table once the ta table tools tabs are available click the layout option go to the delete button click the delete table option how to insert a new row and how to insert a new column although there are many uh, ways in which you can accomplish this the most easy I see is to point to the beginning of the row and there's a special plus button that will show up you can simply click the plus button and the row will be inserted where the blue highlighted line is Similarly for the column Go to the top of the column a special plus blue button will appear and you can click these buttons to insert new columns wherever you want Other way of inserting rows and column is to right click anywhere Go to the insert option and Choose any of these five options available to insert columns or rows above below left or right Another way is to go to the layout tab, go to the rows and column section and click either of these four options available to you. Okay, now let's see how to merge and split cells and when will you need to use these options. Sometimes in a table there are master headings and underneath it there are two or more subheadings yeah, as you can see here in the office window layout we have a master heading here table tools and we have two subheadings under under this master heading design and layout if you want to achieve the same effect as in here currently in this table in your table it's not possible you'll need to merge few cells to do this so to merge two or more cells select the cells that you want to merge go to the layout option under the merge section click the merge cell button alternatively you can right click 
and select merge cells now you can nicely type in tables center align it type in design center align it type in layout center align it using control e and you can have the same effect as in the win word window layout but sometimes you might need to split cells for example you might have the table heading and you might want to split cells here and add two more headings you can right click select the split cells option tell it you want to split in columns of two and it will do the job for you you can also select multiple cells and click the split cell option tell it that you want to split the these five rows into columns of two click ok and all these rows will be split into two columns removing borders and grid lines sometimes you might want a table without borders to achieve this select the whole table go to the design tab under the border section click the borders button and select no border although it is easy to achieve this but it becomes difficult to work with it simply because now you cannot see the table or the borders to overcome this difficulty select the table go to the layout option and click the view grid line button in the table section now you will be able to see the grid lines although these lines will not be printed on the paper applying styles as with text and other options pictures and text boxes word comes with predefined table styles you can click the more button and select one of the predefined styles word has in store for you special rows and columns for to use style with ease there are some table style options available which allows you to customize special rows and columns for example here's an option for a header row if you click it uncheck this option the special header row will become like a normal row again if you click the first column up uncheck the first column option the whole table becomes plain simple table and there will be no headers and no first column so go on and try all the options here creating new styles you can always create new styles by going to the design tab clicking the more style button and selecting new table style it gives you a whole lot of option and shows you the preview of the style that you are creating once you are done and click ok your style will be saved by the name that you gave it you can always change more options by going to the format button and selecting all these options here view all options so there are some hidden options for your table if you go to the layout tab click the square arrow button in the cell size you will be given a table properties window where you can change advanced settings although all most of these settings are directly available in the ribbon change the default options here as well so that will bring us to the end of the lecture thank you for watching